Capricorn Seeker. Most benevolent, accurate messages for my Cappies for the month of November. Welcome to the Existential Shift. My name is Morgane if you're new. Happy to have you here. Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, Dominant, Cross Watchers. Capricorn, what's going on for November? How's October been treating, treating you? I do recommend going back to your October reads because this is the midst of the energy to make connections. Watch your other placements, by the way, just to have a broader picture if you want to. But why focus on other realms when we have the right here and now, right? Your general reading for November. Capricorn. Earth. And water season. This, uh, I'm not even going to look because I kind of forced it. it. It tilted out. It wanted to, but then it didn't. And then I kind of yanked it. I'm going to let it come out on its own when it's ready because we understand nature capricorns right five of wands who are you fighting yourself who do you feel like you need to protect yourself against from who's coming at you who has something to say about something that you do there will always be someone who has something to say about something that you do, Capricorn. It's just the nature of society and of humanity. We can't serve them all. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. You can, because you're so F strong, but you shouldn't. And you're like, what did I do? Why does everybody has a say, a comment, an issue, a demand? Who do they think that at one po at what point did I gave these individuals the, the impression that I owe them something that they can just be like that? I don't owe you anything. Why do you talk to me like that? Or if I owe you something, then maybe you also owe me. Maybe this is uh, a two-way stream. Maybe this is a double-edged something. You know, something would dwell in. If I owe you, then you owe me. Oh, two. Okay. Two are fallen. Here you are, King of Pentacles. Hi, Gabby. But you stand your ground. And the Five of Swords. Who else got that? Yesterday, Virgo. In their extended, they had the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. So maybe you want to watch Virgo. You feel like there's conflict around you, maybe towards you, maybe just around you, and you just want to turn your back to it and not handle that BS. You want to focus on what is important to you and what is important in general. But you keep feeling like you're being pulled into that drama. Maybe people are asking for your advice. Maybe people are taking it out on you. Maybe people are projecting at you their own struggles. And you're like, can I, uh, can I not just be around that, please? What is that? Ooh. Temperance. Which is 14. We could call it another 5 in a way. Tempering. Balancing. You feel like there are too many things, forces, individuals, issues, dramas, situations, problems, whatnot, that are just taking away your time and energy and you just really want to focus and you just really, honestly, you want to heal. You want to find balance. You want to find connection to source. You want to find harmony and peace. And this is the guidance. 
Temperance tells us, if you want peace to be restored exteriorly, as within, so without. If it's without, it's if it's outside of you, it's inside of you. What is it inside of you that needs to have peace restored to? What kind of conflict is inside of us, Cappies? What are we constantly in battle mood and conflict in regards to? What takes our peace of mind? We think many things, we want many things, and it just gives, gives us the headache. And before you know it, it starts manifesting in our surrounding. And then people are like that. It's reflecting. It's a reflection. And temperance be like, find your own peace in the midst of the chaos, you know? There will always be situations. There will always be back noise. There will always be issues. The only way to avoid it is to move to a cave or to a mountain. And then even there, there are bugs, winds, falling rocks. There's always something. You need to find your peace of mind inside of you, okay? You need to make amends inside of you with things that are bothering you just you know go inside capricorn think what could it could all this be a reflection of what am i battling myself with what am i arguing myself with and do what you need to do to solve it okay oh what do you know one more five in a day the Hierophant, and then the Ten of Cups, and it felt like this. It was the Ten of Cups, it seemed like only one card, and it was hiding the Hierophant. All right. A relationship, a structured relationship, a.k.a. marriage, or a very, um, um, you know, a relationship. Committed relationship. With promises and expectations. And it's good, it's pretty, but it is directly connected to the beginning of the reading. I have five and five summing to ten. And then I have with with my Noorakan, five of wands and five of swords. And then I have five of five in the major summing to the ten of cups. Temperance and the ten of cups. Specifically here I have this baby here. Hi baby. Um this has been a theme, I think, maybe two months ago or maybe last month in your reading, Capricorn. Um, this won't speak to any to everybody, but someone is trying to have a baby or already has a child and it's kind of around that. And there's a need to find some balance um, and healing in order to make that happen. Hmm. Let's see more into this. The Hierophant can be a Taurus. Temperance could be a Sag. Sagittarius. So there's um, a lot of fire and earth energy. Maybe you're dealing with someone um, that has a lot of earth and fire in their chart. They could be either a fire sign with a lot sign with a lot of earth in their chart, or an earth sign with a lot of fire in their chart, etc. The thing that balances fire is air. The thing that balances earth is water. The thing that balances fire in this reading, the air element, is the five of swords. It's not very harmonious. Therefore, the fire element in this story is a little bit off balance, which makes sense because we got the, fi the fire representation here is the temperance, which calls for balance. Um... And the water element here that is supposed to balance the earth element is Ten of Cups, which is lovely. So I feel like um, the person with the more earth characteristics is a bit more balanced in the situation as opposed to the fire sign that requires...
requires more balancing and maybe that's the problem capricorn maybe you're dealing with a fire sign or someone with strong fire in your chart they're just a little bit imbalanced um, and you feel like hey to do this thing to make this happen we need peace we need harmony we need balance we can't bring a creation to the world that is made out of something that is all stable and something that is all not stable both parties need to be stable and grounded and in tune one plus one in order to make a three the third party the baby the creation the home the project i don't know attaches to narrative capricorn let's keep going you're really trying to do the right thing i'm seeing you here really have the king of pentacles i have the the hierophant the, the, the temperance you're really trying to do the right thing the sun and you are yay so if this is about a baby a child a family an expansion you got it the sun says you got this you're receiving if this is the birth of a project of a creation yes go for it inspiration is here creativity is here let's keep going with this sun because I don't know why it feels like I'm supposed to be so happy with the sun, but yet it feels a little bit uh, catch 22. Interesting. Why am I getting this catch 22 energy from the sun and the hierophant and the ten of cups? This is happy home, happy family, happy everything. It just gets better and better and better. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, too many cards fell down. I'm going to take... Okay, let me show you this. Okay. So these two fell and facing down. Two groups. Nine of Cups, Ten of Wands. I'm going to take it. These are too much. I'm not going to take it. And then I'm going to see what's going on here. Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Three Tens. Hi, Columba. <laughs> I have four fives and three tens. A lot of conflict. A lot of back and forth communication. On the surface, everything is great. Okay. An image of perfection. But there's a lot of hidden pain here. It's almost like, okay, you got your wish. You got whatever it is that you wanted. But the, the uh, sensation is overbearing in a way. Maybe, you know, with success comes a lot of responsibility. A lot of expectations from different people. And you almost like want to just be like, oh, can I just start again? Can I, can I be a kid? Three tens, four fives. I will definitely delve into it in the extended. I'll probably need clarifications. We'll see. Because if, if you're new in the extended, I do repetitions of the numerical numerical values of the cards and numerology for the first part of the extended anyway. Um, Sorry, I'm feeling. I'm in the feels. I'm, I'm staring at the cards and I'm in the feels. So give me a sec. Okay. I have these male characters that are looking outside the window. And even this baby here is looking outside this like pathway.
and you're thinking what is outside it's, I, I, I see someone really daydreaming it's like you um, kind of surf through life that are not bad at all I feel like things are seemingly good right ten of cups um, the Sun the Hierophant nine of cups it's like someone who received what they wanted, but then and then they start thinking, wait, is this actually what I wanted? There is a lesson here uh, that is really strongly integrated. You're starting to see, like to connect the dots, the emotional dots with the energetic dots. Like you're starting to really understand and grow awareness as to some of you are admitting to yourself that you want to be selfish that you want to do your thing that you want to be alone maybe that you want to do you just want to do your thing without someone kind of nudging their nose and like hey what you doing uh If there's one thing an artist or an energy an energy worker knows is that sharing your process is borderline impossible and very burdening. Like, how do you do that? It's so intuitive and compulsive and it's just this alchemy that happens inside your head and inside your heart. It's not something to explain. And you really want to be that nice guy or the nice girl that is, you know, patient and sweet and communicative, but you just kind of don't want to. Sorry, there's the notifications that drive me nuts. This computer annoys me. Sorry. <laughs> Let's keep going. Your cards, let's keep going, please, for Capricorn for November. What else can we see? How can we guide Capricorn in the most benevolent way for them to their highest good throughout the month of November? Too much, too much, too much. <laughs> For someone who doesn't want to share their process, you seem to really want to talk. Sometimes you just need the right person to talk to. Sometimes. And sometimes you just don't want to talk. And that's okay, too. You don't have to explain yourself all the time to everybody. <laughs> they can go explain themselves to themselves. What would Capricorn do? Let's ask Capricorn. And you're like, why are you asking me all the time? Okay, the fool, the hangman. You, you're really sick and tired of this whole charade. You're, you're putting on a show and you're completely different on the inside. You just want to fly, be free, invent, create... Uh, think, feel, you don't want to be, which is interesting for a Capricorn that doesn't want to be um, captured in the structure. You want to dissolve the structure and create a new structure. You have a different interesting point of view, of view on things and you're not sharing it because you feel like maybe it won't be understood maybe it will seem odd maybe maybe your environment maybe you feel like that because your environment doesn't understand the language that you speak just because someone doesn't understand your language doesn't mean that your language is wrong okay you're just in the wrong country or with the wrong people or you're speaking to the wrong people if they don't understand and don't vibe with you there's that doesn't mean there's something wrong with you capricorn Frequency is important. 
Now it's it's I find it weird to say because again, there's a lot of good goodness in here, okay? But I feel like an old way of doing things is starting to really um it's getting old on you and you're like I feel something else different needs to emerge, but I don't know if I have the room to express it, right? Because you have all those, you know, feels and inspirations and visions, but it's like everything is just closing in on you. I don't know if it's work or your relationship, but you really need to break through it, Capricorn. And I can't do that for you. You need to make that call, that decision. You're lovely. Okay, you're lovely and interesting and inspiring and cool. You're not weird or different or whatnot, okay? And but you put on a really good show of Mr. Perfect, what you think is Mr. Perfect. And it comes with a price. Capricorn, right? Because that shit takes a lot of energy. That game takes a lot of energy. How can we conclude this reading for November for Capricorn? What kind of guidance and conclusion can we give Capricorn? I will finish after this. I will finish up. I will give you a message from the Akashic Tarot, which is awesome. And it will be right after I'll show you your extended. Yay. But let's keep this up. Oh, the magician. There you are. Hi. See, you have peeked into this reading several times. This was the first, the alleged you, King of Pentacles. But this is really you, right? I mean, the magician and the fool. This is who you are, Capricorn. Very, very powerful uh, creator. Very talented. Gifted. Sharp. This one knows how to play the game of life, and this one knows how to play the game of life, the, the fool and the magician. This guy, though, makes a lot of sacrifice, and it's it's a heavy feeling, you know, and he does it for a greater good. This guy, though, though feels great, and he does it for himself. Both using their gifts for different reasons. You need to be that guy. Take the same abilities, the same gifts, and start having fun, god damn it. You really have the ability to recreate, restructure your life right now. This doesn't necessarily mean break shit down or leave everything, no. It's just a different outlook, a different take on things, a different way to communicate with those around you, you know, in regards to their expectations and their demands, putting them, putting them in their place. Trust me, they'll stay. And if they don't stay, good. <laughs> good rhythms. And be like, hey, yo, listen. I think you may have forgotten who I am. Ace of Pentacles, great. Ace of Swords, yes. Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, yes. Six of Pentacles, I can go on and on, but I won't, I'll stop here. This is what happens when you harness your mag your majesty, magistry, your inner magus, and start operating from there. The Ace of Pentacles. All hell breaks loose. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> real strong financial um, opportunities. And then Ace of Swords. Real sharp, inspiring, accurate opportunities. Three of Cups, fun. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. Fun, fun. 
Queen of Pentacles. Lovely. Someone very, um, that really owns their place, that are very benevolent, very bountiful, very, uh, fertile, very, um, sexy, very grounded, very warm, very strong, very present. And this feels like a gift, Six of Pentacles. Oh, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, lovely. Now that's a match. This was a little bit imposed. This was imposed a little bit by what we think should, what we want to should, what our society thinks that should, could, should, would. But the Five of Swords, all these thoughts of what we think we need to do, turns out to be the Ten of Swords. Ouch, that's freaking painful. And the Five of Wands, this conflict trying to force something into something, becomes a Ten of Wands. It's one hell of a burden. It's heavy, heavy load. Why does the right thing to do feel so wrong? And why does the wrong thing to do feel so right? Because there is no right and wrong. There is just how it feels. Harm none and be happy. Now, harm none and be happy, yes, a little bit naive to say because if you need to quit a job, if you need to leave a partner, if you need to go on a vacation alone, that, you know, people behind are like, wait, but what about me? And that is like hurting them, but it's not really hurting them. They have their own journey and you can't hurt yourself and, you know, to, to not hurt someone else. Either way, we started in here. We had to go through all these bananas to recall what we really feel like doing and being the fool and the magician. That's, that's you know, going back to, to ground zero. That's a real change of, you know, changing, changing the light bulbs. It's completely something, a different light. But once we kind of take ourselves out of the, um, the martyr mode, because martyr mode serves us very well. We like to bitch and whine about being so much for others and being so much not for ourselves. So fucking holy. Come on, Capricorn, stop that BS. You just want people to think that you're amazing. It's not really about other people and you sacrificing yourself for other people. You just want people to think you're freaking holy. That's a boost to your freaking ego. You think you can fool me? Huh? It's funny. That's funny, Capricorn. That's funny. I'm not buying. You're not doing this shit for anybody else. You're doing this shit for yourself because you're terrified of doing things for yourself because what if it won't succeed? So let's do things for others. Come on. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry. You're saying it's about others, but it's not about others. You, you're using others as an excuse to not take care of yourself. And you also like the ego boost of how people perceive you. You're the person that, always there, that is always there for everyone and doesn't do anything for themselves. <laughs> Not apologizing, Capricorn. You can't handle the truth. On your fucking power. Stop being such a coward. Stop playing the game of the victim. I'm the victim of society. I'm the victim of everybody's expectations. You're not, you're not a victim. No one is a victim. 
yes, some people are being forced to victim mode. I'm not just, let's not take extreme examples, okay? I'm not talking about slavery. I'm not talking about racism, anti-Semitism, and everything that is fucked up in this world, and what people do to other people, what dictators and leaders do to their people. I'm not talking about that, okay? I'm talking about you are a free person in a free world, you have that privilege, and you're playing all martyr and a victim. You're putting yourself in that place. No one is forcing you. No one wants you to, actually. The specific people who want you to be that, you chose to have them in your life because they serve you in a way. They allow you to feel all powerful and mighty because in compared to them, because they're so fucked up and needy, you're the God. Being strong at the expense of someone else's weakness, I know it's not exactly how we think of it, but it's also that a type of that. Okay, surrounding yourself with people who are constantly needy to you. I don't think you're Jesus. I just think you like how it makes you feel. So if you really want to be powerful, why do you need weaker people that makes you feel strong in comparison to them? that put you on that pedestal, oh, Capricorn will help me. And you're like, okay, I will help you. I'm, oh, it's so hard for me, but then again, I get so much out of it. But then you're in that constant seesaw of liking it and resenting it at the same time, because you know the truth. But look what happens when you stop. When you take that shitty rope off your fucking neck, sit the fuck down and think, what will make me happy? Oh, I can do that. All right. Universe would be like, coins, point swords. We have some fun. Wham, bam, perfect union. Perfect match. Queen of Earth, King of Earth. Commissioned, work being commissioned. For those of you who will start owning their gifts, the universe will give you opportunities to succeed in it. You just need to give the kickstart. You just need to start. Do something. Am I messing with my hair a lot? I'm sorry. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Do you want to see your extended? Show you your extended, and then I'll give you messages from the Akashic Tarot. They're mind blowing. All right, this is what's gonna happen. You ready? Booyah. Five. Ace, two aces, all these tens. Oh, definitely majors. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Two ones. It's pretty much five ones, three tens, two aces. And technically, because I have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, which is May, Taurus, month of May. It's also Taurus, month of May. Um, so we actually also have five fives and five tens. We'll leave this guy here, King of Pentacles, just in case it will serve us with the Queen of Pentacles, but not for sure. We might not need it or it might not connect. I might just talk about the fact that we have five fives here and five ones. 
and the majors. And this we don't need. And this we don't need. Okay, so actually, sorry, forgive me. I just a little bit of OCD. I like it to be the way I like it to be. And I'm just putting um, fire under fire, air under air. Now this will be here. Great. Why did you fall down, dude? Right, this is the first part of your extended, my lovely cappies. Sorry for being harsh on you. Tough love. It's because I because I expect every much from you, because everybody else expects so much from you, right? So I'm just another person on that list. Sorry. It's like impossible to help it with you guys. First part of the extended, great. Now after that, I'll clean the table. I'll do I'll make a new shuffle. This is a Da Vinci tarot deck by the way I used it for Virgo as well um, and then I'll have a Celtic cross reading 10 cards on the table usually a much more structured clear um, narrative for the month of November of course and then I will finish up with receiving a rune for the month of November okay guys um, this was wonderful uh, you can subscribe to my channel right here it will be a great way to support me and to know of more videos that are coming up um, Thank you for your comments. I read everything, my lovely seeker, and I'm really happy to have you on my journey. Tarot Masterclass. If you want to learn tarot from me, I'm not done yet. If you want to learn tarot from me, link is below in the information box. Over there, you can also find the link to this extended. Um, and over there, you also have my email. If you want a private reading, it's global, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can talk to me, okay? So all the links and the information is below. Now, message from the Akashic Tarot for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, two fell. I need just one. Just one. One clear message and guidance from the Akashic Records for Capricorn for the month of November, please. No, okay. Okay, Five, this is so funny. Who also got that? Was it also Virgo? Guys, you need to watch Virgo reading because there's so many um, equivalents. Oh, this, this part about the children might resonate with you because we spoke about children. Interesting. Okay. Where are the roses? There it is. Yay. Sorry. Okay. The garden. Story time. Two children play in a sunny, lush green garden. A boy shoots a slide shot while a girl next to him watches a butterfly and the flowers with a, mag with a magnifying glass. If children aren't a part of your life already, this card could show their arrival. It also could indicate that your children, even adult children, could become more of a focus for you. They may have some concerns of their own, but even so, opportunities for things to mend come easily right now. There also may be real change and benefit for one of your children who has made a special effort recently. This is a very advantageous time for the children around you. Enjoy it and help them enjoy it too. Okay. All right, Capricorn, I'll see you in a sec in your extended link below. Um, happy Halloween. I will see you for December. Much love.